So I struggled a little bit last episode. The trades weren't that good. But let me say, I learned my lesson and made the best trade of my life. Hey guys, welcome to Will It Trade. In today's episode, I am so excited, I can't even contain it. I'm trading these, NBA 2K19, about a $5 game in the system brand new, which I paid $201 for from Target. And I'm gonna make what may go down as the greatest video game Facebook trade ever. I am you guys won't believe it. I'm heading there right now. They're already on their way. It's a tub full of retro games, and it's going to be crazy. So let's do it. So it went down. By far my best trade so far. So excited. Super nice people. I think this was the first time they've ever done a Facebook Marketplace deal because they were very, like, apprehensive in the messages. Like, is this a scam? And I just said... No, no, this is the real deal. Check my Facebook ratings, which thankfully I have a lot of ratings on there now with five stars. Um, but they just had an old bin of games sitting in their closet collecting dust. And they're like, would you take this stuff for one of the switches? And, <laughs> you know, I almost thought it was somebody trolling me too because of the stuff that they sent. Incredible. Um, I paid $200, $201 for the Switch Lite, and this tub of games is worth well over that. Um, and they said they had tried to trade them into a local game store and got offered way less than $200 for it. So that would have been a crime for them to take that. But they were really happy with this trade, and <laughs> I am probably happier than they are, and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. So in this light box, in the area that I'm not showing, is what I picked up in that trade. You might be able to see in the bottom left corner something that looks interesting and enticing. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know. That's a Jungle Green N64. With the expansion pack, matching controller, and a Nintendo brand red controller, We've got all the cords. The cords are over in the bin. I'm not even going to show those because you got to see the goods. This was for one Switch Lite, a black one. Insane. This was their initial offer, and they were stoked to get the Switch Lite. These games had been sitting around in their closet in a tub, in this tub, for years. And my mind is blown. So, let's go through everything. We got N64 games, GoldenEye, World is Not Enough, Donkey Kong 64, Pokemon Stadium. Absolutely beautiful. This thing here is a case full of about 30 loose discs for PS2 and PS3 and PS1. Some decent ones in there, but I've spread out the better ones over here to the left, which I will be showing you guys. There's two good, uh, like, teal green... PS2 controllers, very nice. Game Boy Color with the beautiful Pikachu case, let me show that. So clean, so beautiful. I might already have that in the collection, if I don't, it's going in the collection. But we got the Atomic Purple, does it have a game inside? No. But it does have Pokemon Blue and Crystal. Absolutely amazing, those are the games you want if you're getting games. Not to mention Yu-Gi-Oh! for the GBA. You're seeing Smash Bros. for the N64. Mario Party DS. Mar New Super Mario Bros. 2. Fun fact, Bubble Guppies is actually like a $20 game on the DS. There's some Dora games as well. Zelda Ocarina of Time. Cruising USA. GoldenEye 007. Mario 64. It just keeps coming. A DS Lite Pink. 
memory card for the N64. And now let's go to the disc only stuff. Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, Silent Hill HD Collection, Onimusha 3, Minecraft for PS3, Shadow of the Colossus, Dual Hearts, Uncommon Game, probably a $30 or $40 disc, <clears throat> Action Replay for the PS2, that's probably a $25 disc, Guitar Hero Metallica, uh, I don't know, $15 to $20 bucks for the disc, Smackdown vs. Raw 2010, Mega Man 8 for PS1, Final Fantasy X X2, HD remaster and then another PS2 controller and there's some decent games in here um, but I'm not gonna go through and show them all I'm gonna show the ones in the cases so Star Wars Battlefront 2 Gauntlet Dark Legacy every single game is complete um, this pinball game is not in there that's the only thing missing Dragon Quest 8 Dora Pac-Man World 2 Star Wars Battlefront 1 a couple Naruto games Ultra Street Fighter The Last of Us Far Cry 4, Soul Calibur 5, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Black Ops 3, The Orange Box, pretty nice, valuable game, a couple Metal Gears, Fast and Furious, Tekken 6, and Fallout 3. And yes, folks, all of this was for one Nintendo Switch Lite, the black one, the most common color out there. Incredible, incredible trade. You know, probably the money back were pretty close is just in that jungle green N64. I'm gonna say probably fairly easily we're looking at eight hundred dollars in value of games. Um, I think on Amazon I'll probably be able to get a li maybe a little more than that but we'll kinda go with eBay values on this stuff even though I sell most of it on Amazon. You know just to be a little more conservative with the estimates which I always try to do. But yeah, incredible. This is the greatest trade that I have ever made, and I'm just absolutely stoked for it. So yeah, guys, I learned my lesson. When you're doing trades, I think the goal should be to double up in value, especially if you're trading something that is highly desirable. And you got to put in the work to sell it. Don't take cash for extra systems. Um, these are just things that I said yes to too fast. You know, I love getting deals like this, and this is this is what uh, more commonly makes the videos is these amazing deals, um, just incredible stuff. But sometimes, you know, I make mistakes, and I wanted to show that in the previous video, but I knew I needed to come back with a vengeance, and this is what happened. Tatesy is more excited than I am. She's trying to jump up in here. But yeah, incredible stuff. So that's it one big trade but man was it beautiful uh, you guys can do this in your local Facebook I recommend giving it a shot um, switch lights are going in and, out, in and out of stock GameStop and Target are probably gonna be your best bets online so check those uh, you know if you're interested in doing something like this and let me know how you're liking this series uh, let me know if you have any ideas for it I know somebody has mentioned the office episode where Dwight trades up uh, Boy, I have a paperclip or something. I've seen the episode. He goes all the way up to a microscope, and then Jim tricks him into trading the legumes. Um, but that might be a cool idea to try to trade up as far as I can. Um, right now, I'm going to stick with trading high demand items for glorious, beautiful games like this. Games, games, games. So, a question that I get a lot is do I test? Do I test all of the games that I sell? The answer is, in a short answer, no. I don't test all of the games that I sell. Um, basically, if the game is like minty fresh and looks perfect, it's a disc based game, complete, very light or no scratches on the disc, I don't test it because 99% of the time that game is going to work and it wouldn't really be worth the time to test it. But if the game runs through my disk reservicer or anything like that, I do test all of those just to be sure. I test them for, you know, three minutes, make sure they load up, make sure you can start the game and all that stuff. That's as far of a test that I do. On cartridge games, if there's any reason to believe they might not work, yes, I test those. But if they're clean, I still uh, take rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip, clean all the connectors until 
you know, you're going to get green, brown, whatever on the Q-tip. Until you can get none of that when you're cleaning it, that's when I stop cleaning, and then that game's good to go. So I test games if it looks like they should be tested or if they needed any significant cleaning. Thank you guys for watching Chase Out to the Right Price. I truly appreciate it. It's a lot of fun making these videos, and I love that you guys come along for the ride. Hopefully, you learned something and got some value out of it. If you did, if you could take a second and go ahead and hit that like button right below, that really helps the channel. It helps in YouTube metrics and helps people like you to see these videos. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Go ahead and do that. Then you can join us and get notified every time a video comes out. And we'd love to have you along for the ride. So we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.